Hey, I'm Grant from Who Canoes. We're here today at Beyond Adventure in sunny Aberfeldy, one of our Who Canoes experience partners, to look at how we put new gunnels on a canoe. Today we're going to be replacing this one gunnel that has become damaged. So we're going to start by removing all of the bolts from that side, ready to remove the gunnel. So when it comes to removing the gunnel, we're using a 10mm drill bit to simply drill off the head of the rivets. And I've got my power drill set on low speed. That means that we're minimising the risk of drilling all the way through the rivet and puncturing through into the hull of the boat. Don't forget, on the deck plate, we need to go all the way around to remove the deck plate entirely from the top of the boat. Once we've done that, we can work our way all the way down the boat and remove the deck plate at the far end. Before the gunnel comes up, often we have to go along just with a flat-headed screwdriver and pop the gunnel over the top of the rivets. Sometimes you find that popping the gunnel over the top of the rivets doesn't work and we need to get a blunt instrument, a big trusty hammer and just knock the end of the rivet all the way inside the gunnel that we're about to remove. We're now at the stage to put the new gunnel in position. We're just going to work our way along the boat, knocking it on. I've tied the front of the gunnel onto the boat because the gunnel's come out of the factory straight and we want to get it curved. So by tying the painter onto the front of the gunnel, it's just going to help it take its shape whilst we work our way along, gently tapping it down onto the boat. Our gunnel's come out of the factory at a fixed length, so we just need to mark it up and trim it down just using the jigsaw. The next thing that we need to do is get this new gunnel attached onto the boat. So I'm just picking a location to start and I'm going to gently drill through the outer edge of the gunnel, through the hull of the canoe and make sure that I don't go all the way through the far end of the gunnel. Once we've got that hole drilled we can take our rivet, combine it with our rivet gun and rivet it onto the boat. Once the first rivet's in we can continue on with the rest of them. To make sure we have a nice tidy job, we want them to be equally spaced. The distance doesn't matter, so I'm just using the length of my rivet gun to give me my spacing. I'm just gonna drill through, again, making sure that I don't go all the way through the back of the gunnel, rivet on my next one, and keep going. Now we're on to the really riveting task of just drilling and riveting until we reach the far end of the boat. Our next job is to put our yoke and our handles back in to ensure that our boat has the correct shape. We do this before we put the deck plates on so that the deck plates fit nice and snug over the ends of our gunnels. It's then just a case of simply putting on the deck plates. We can use the original holes on the deck plates for our rivets. We just need to ensure that we drill through the new gunnel underneath. One thing that people often forget about is we took rivets off the far side of the boat, so don't forget to go back and put new rivets in there as well. And now we're on to our final and most complex task, refitting the seats. Nobody likes to have a wonky seat, so take your time, line the seats up carefully, and make sure you don't over tighten the seats and damage that new gunnel. So there we go, gunnels fitted to the boat, ready for the team here to carry on using this. If you have any questions on how to do this, drop us an email to info at whocanoes.com and we'll be able to help. And if you're interested in what our Who Canoes Experience partners do, like Beyond Adventure here, head on over to whocanoesexperience.com to have a look what all of our partners do. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah.